sun's bugging me to get up there. You like, got to get up there. Maybe a couple weeks because I need a little bit more padding to fall into. There you go. Well, actually, it's pretty soft right now, but you get in trouble if you get off course. Right. And then, but I think where they had the lifts open right now, which is why they have only a few lifts open, is because they have it all packed so it you don't run into spot, any yeah. trouble. So, really, you don't have much of an excuse not really? to get up there. I say. Well, yeah. you want to go. I know I that. I do too, <laughs> but I have my hands full right now as well. So, but we will we'll get up there because. With a puppy, right? Yeah, I got a puppy. I'll have to talk about that later. Okay. Yeah, but right. it's exciting. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but a lot of work, and it's keeping me from the mountain right now. <laughs> but anyway, so let's talk about the weather. It's going to be more snow to come, and you know, it's a La Nina year, so uh, you got to get excited. It's going to be a long season with plenty of time to get up to that mountain, so hopefully you got your passes ready. Uh, 52 degrees right now, and look, we're even getting a little blue sky and some sunshine out there in the Fort Lee metro area. Temperatures have gone up, too, or right where we should be for this time of the year. Northwest winds coming in at 12. Uh, this is a look from the beach and we've even gotten a little bit of sunshine here and there too in between the showers of course so it's been wet on and off for a lot of the day here's where we are right now in Lincoln City 52 degrees and the winds are calming down too so it's going to be a nice little evening but you can see off in the distance still a little bit of cloud cover developing there and that's where we'll see a few more showers roll through before we try to dry things out and get some dry time going uh, for a little minute before the next system rolls on in meanwhile in the Cascades the snow continues to come in so we're still seeing it pile up at the ski resorts not nearly as heavy but we're certainly going to add a few more inches as we head through this evening and overnight tonight and then of course the showers are pushing in from the northwest as they enter the valley they're trying to dry out but still the potential that a few of these will make it so this evening you may run into a shower or two as you're out and about in the valley and in the metro area but the trend is look at this blue sky out over the ocean here a big ridge of high pressure builds in and it's going to give us some dry time for Tuesday before, of course, that front moves in behind it to bring us the rain back by Wednesday. So enjoy the dry time overnight tonight and for tomorrow will be mainly dry uh, from the coast range to the Cascades and east, too. So really up for a lot of the Pacific Northwest. Temperature wise out there right now, upper 40s in Salem, 51 in Albany. We're in the low 50s in Vancouver, uh, low 50s for the coast, too. Central Oregon in the low to mid 40s. So temperatures there are already starting to take a dip. We'll fall through the 40s, too. Rain change. Chances in the forecast between 7 and 9. By the time we get to 11 o'clock, though, we start to see those rain chances move out. And then that's when we're going to have to watch for that fog to move in. A lot of moisture in the air and not a lot of wind. And so uh, that's when we start to see that fog developing. Already starting to see that a little bit in the mountains. In fact, lows tonight will be in the mid 40s. Again, back to the skiing conditions. That's a live picture from Mount Hood Meadows. I wanted to give you the ski report. And so the bases are getting up there close to 30 inches between meadows and timberline. And of course, just over the last 20 for hours. 15 inches of snow, so over a foot of snow for both Timberline and Mount Hood Meadows, so things are looking really good up there. Uh, your rain and snow uh, forecast as we head through tonight, uh, we'll see things drying out. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Expect fog through about 10 a.m. and mostly cloudy skies. As we go into the afternoon, as you can see, not much showing up on the radar. The clouds will be a little tough to clear, but I think we will even see some clearing to get some sunshine going here and there for the afternoon. A really nice looking day. By the time we wrap things up, 6 p.m. That front is already moving in, and so we'll start to see rain tomorrow night for the coast. And by the time we get into the overnight hours, those showers push into the valley and into the Cascades, too, where we'll see more snow. It's going to be a cold front, so it'll bring in a dip in the temperatures. Tomorrow, though, mainly dry. Temperatures top out in the upper 40s. Your forecast around the area, central and eastern Oregon, upper 30s to low 40s there, low to mid 50s for the coast. So we'll see uh, relatively dry conditions. Here's that ridge that builds in tomorrow, and then another dip moves in, bringing us shower chances for the the rest of the week and look as we go into early next week, we can see a nice little dip in the temperatures. Here's your seven day forecast. So fog in the morning, mainly dry tomorrow, a wet day Wednesday, and then just a few showers here and there Thursday through uh, Saturday. Sunday brings the next system. And of course, there's that dip in temperatures where highs may struggle to get out of the 30s on Monday, uh, lows close to the freezing mark. So we'll be watching that really closely. It's still a long ways out, but definitely uh, it is that time of the year. Things are active and temperatures are starting to dip and the snow piling up on the yes, mountain. Gotta love it. What kind of puppy did you get? It's a little golden. So, and yeah, and it's actually, it's my boyfriend's puppy, but. So Ranger's but okay with Ranger, Yeah, and so, but you know, Ranger and I have kind of taken it over. That's what we tend to do. Yeah, yeah Ranger's actually. If you see actually, any uh, dog hair all over me today. Yeah, we brought it in, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, but it's a lot of fun. We'll have to post some pictures. We will. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> Still to